Hey everybody, Troy back here at headquarters, uh, intro on the latest YouTube video clip. Um, during these strange times, I've actually had quite a bit of time to fish, which is kind of surprising, but uh, that translates into lots of pictures, lots of video, and lots of ideas to convey uh, either on the blog or here on YouTube. So YouTube suffered a bit, so this one's going back uh, several weeks. Uh, Walk-in strip mine trip features a, a real solid bass. Uh, this one set a lake record, a site record, and it's also the largest bass that I've captured on the GoPro video. So definitely worth a look. Why don't you check her out? He feels, he feels pretty good. Ooh, yeah. That one feels good. Oh my. Uh, got off. Don't go on it. I didn't get a very good hook set on him. Long distance and dang it. Shoot. You got a bite, I guess. I couldn't get him. It's too doggone sunny. It always gets me. I gotta get better at catching when it's sunny like this. It's clear water. I don't know if I gotta pull out that Ned rig or. Try to go woolly curl tail around the bottom or something, but I just ain't getting it done. I got several lakes I want to fish today, so if they ain't biting here, I ain't really going to fool around too long, I guess, but this is usually one of my better spots, but the last couple years have been rough. I caught some decent ones, but first year I fished, first year or two I fished out here, I caught like three, pound, three four pounders out of here, but I don't know if they're gone or what. Oh, doggone it. I felt him for a minute. Dang, dang, dang. I am not having any luck today. distance. Come on. <laughs> uh, very big. We gotta get into the bank though so he counts. Come on, get in here. Alright, we're not shut out on this lake, at least barely. Alright. So an hour in, I get me a nine and a half inch bass. But hey, I'll take it avoids the shutout on this lake. And I've had one, three others hit or hook, but just ain't getting them. Yep. He, feels, he feels pretty good. Oh, yeah. That one feels good. Oh, my. That's more like it. That's more like it. Ooh, man. Nice. Been waiting. Oh, man, that just kind of fell out, too. <laughs> I got lucky. Oh, I'd say I've been waiting all year for that one, but the year ain't that long. But, oh, you know what? That's a new uh, new lake record for here. I think the old one was like 3.6 or something like that. It's a nice-looking fish. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Get excited about that one. Woo! Good, good, good. All right, let's get the details on him, then we'll get him back in. Cool. All right, yep, indeed a new lake record, 412. Let's go ahead and turn her loose. Back she goes. Cool. Needed that one. Needed that one. Been a rough year and 
tough morning, but that uh, that makes up for it. All right, good, good, good. All right, move down a little bit and tone down my shed right after this smaller one. This one I really had some good luck with a couple weeks ago. And that was funny because that's exactly what happened a couple weeks ago. It's like one of the first few casts I had one. Actually, I was dangling in the water and uh, had one hit at it. And then uh, a couple casts later, hit right at my feet like this one. This one ain't quite as big as his big brother, but uh, that's all right. It's on the board. Shad wrap's coming through again. That's the second one here in just a handful of casts. So that's a good cold water bait. I think he was bumping it. He bumped it a couple times, it seemed like, and then was swimming at me. There was nothing there. He drug it along a little bit more and then uh, came back and ate it. So, yeah, black and blue, jig and pig. Uh, add another one to the list. kind of wild today they're swimming with it I think he was on there for a little while before I actually set the hook swimming or swimming at me so I thought I had him and then I didn't set the hook didn't set the hook and then finally thought I better there he was Nice tree there. It had one on it. Not much to him, but he's a bass. Right where he's supposed to live. That was just swimming with it. Saw my line moving. Did not feel him. Same spot. Smaller fish. Last one actually weighed almost a pound, but uh, this is going to be short, you know, 11 inches. Fun though. I got just some brush here. I don't know what's down below. There's a nice drop, but I just kind of flick it out there a little bit, pull out enough slack to let it sink so it don't fall all the way back to me. There. Make a really good drop off here in this washout area. <laughs> it's a lot. Looks like a good spot for some to be hanging out. 
And it's nice clear water too, that's kind of cool. See him fight. All right. Right where he was supposed to be. That one didn't quite make 12, but I mean, this is a nice setup here. The wind blowing right across here. Really nice drop. A couple little ledges over there. Let's see if there's any more. Tiny guy, he's dark. That one hit it pretty good. I don't think he's very big though. Nope. He hit it hard. They're getting bigger. I had the GoPro running, but uh, that's three casts in a row. Fish. Seven and three quarters, maybe. That's all right. Winding down now. Only got a few minutes left. Caught a lot of fish today. Started off kind of slow, but one big one. A really good one. And I don't know if I got five over 12 or not, but uh, I think the next biggest one maybe was one one or something like that. So quite a difference. But hey, it was a good day. Lots of steps to get those fish, but uh, had a good time. Now for the lengthy walk back to the truck. It's fun when you're fishing your way down and then you end up a long ways from where you want to be. All right, let's take a peek up here over the ridge. Let's see, oops, got snagged. Let's see where we're at. I have no idea on the interior side of this where I'm at. I know one direction where I'm at, but the other not so much. 